Hi, I'm Dr. Sunny Sky Hughes, and these are my bright ideas on public speaking. In this video, I'm going to give you three tricks to trick your brain and change how you think about public speaking. But first, let's look at some common fears in public speaking and techniques that have worked to overcome them. When famous actor Samuel L. Jackson was a kid, he had a really bad stutter. It was so bad that he avoided speaking in public. That is, he avoided it until his speech therapist suggested he take up acting. That way he would have to experience those situations. For someone with state anxiety or the fear of being embarrassed, desensitization is the most effective cognitive restructuring technique. As hard as it is to start, you need to start speaking and trick yourself into giving these speeches so you'll desensitize. But what if it's not state anxiety? but you have trade anxiety and you're a naturally shy person. For those people, I recommend something very simple. Fake it until you feel it. Fake it until you feel it. Fake it until you feel it. That's what Beyonce does, and if it works for the queen bee, it might just work for you. Beyonce told Details Magazine that her diva alter ego, Sasha Fierce, is just something that she made up to protect herself. She said, that's not what I'm like in real life. The people around me know who I really am. So a way to trick your brain if you're shy is to create an alter ego that is a confident speaker who isn't shy. That's what Blake Lively told Interview Magazine. She said, I'm actually a very shy person. That's a big secret, so don't tell. I'm naturally shy, but I was brought up in a way where I had to get up and get out of that. It's not that you're changing your personality. You're creating a powerful alter ego that you can call on when you need them. The final way to trick your brain works best for those people who hate having all the eyes on them, or what we've discussed in past videos as scrutiny fear. This fear can lead you to avoid speaking in public because much like the gazelle on the African plains being chased by the lion, when all eyes are on you, you experience Darwin's fight or flight response. Billionaire business mogul Warren Buffett, who dropped out of his public speaking class at Dale Carnegie, said he was, quote, terrified of getting up and saying his name. And that's something we've all experienced at the start of the semester when a teacher ask everyone in the class to introduce themselves. Buffett tricked his brain by changing his attitude from one of fear to one of communication. Communication skills consistently rank in the top three skills that employers look for when making new hires. So if you wanna be successful in your future career, it's important on working to overcome your fears. How do you fix them? Once again, Buffett has some sound advice. He said, quote, you have to do it, and the sooner you do it, the better. It's so much easier to learn the right habits when you're young. You've gotta be able to communicate in life, and it's enormously important. If you can't communicate and talk to other people and get your ideas across, you're giving up your potential. Are you probably gonna make a mistake? Yes. Will it ruin your speech? No. So how can you trick your brain? Cognitive restructuring has three steps. First, ask yourself, what am I afraid of? Next, ask yourself, does this fear have a basis in reality? And finally, learn to change your attitude. And the best way to change your attitude is to identify your fears, evaluate them, desensitize yourself, fake it until you feel it, and change your attitude. I'm Dr. Sunny Sky Hughes, and these are my bright ideas on public speaking. Subscribe to my channel, and if you're looking for college credit, take my class online, public speaking at Santa Fe College. Until next time.